welcome back to the channel friends it's book club and we are finishing up hexed the second book in the iron druid series by kevin Hunter. so we're doing chapter 25 and epilogue so we're finishing the book up today um Probably should have done a longer video last week and, and added in, but there was just so much going on in last week's episode, so. And this week, in chapter 25, remember we left it to where uh, Atticus and I think her name was Bodomiwa were the ones in this the building where they had finally destroyed all the German witches and everything and heard the scream. And so everyone runs out. And this is chapter 25. We see what went on. Everyone comes around and the rabbi that had been attacking. Um, am I getting the names mixed up? Wait a minute. Okay, I went and checked. I will, okay. Bogomiwa Miwa was the one getting attacked by the rabbi. So the one in the building with Atticus that was fighting the witches, well, I think was Claudia. Claudia. Yeah. So they go around the building and find that she has been strangled to death by the rabbi's beard. And he remarks that it's like Cthulhu, the squid monster thing, with tentacles wrapped around. And Melina is chanting a protection spell to protect herself from the tentacles and keep the rabbi at bay. And what this brings to my mind is, okay, this is a self-righteous guy who thinks everyone who wields magic should be killed and his him and his hammers of god people are going around doing that but yet he is using magic he's using magic and he's using magic to kill people how can that be less evil than the witches using their magic to destroy evil witches and demon spawn and things like that yeah, talk about <laughs> hypocritical. That's, that is like dictionary hypocritical. But, okay, so, so they're like at a standoff with this, and Atticus comes around with uh, his magical sword. Now, which one did he have? Because he has two swords. Remember, Leaf had one, but he, he dropped it when he jumped out the window. Atticus found it. One's more mortal, and the other is drawing a total blank. Fragara! Fra and I can't pronounce these words. I'm sorry. I'm from North Carolina. I am Scottish heritage, but I can't say these words. I'm sorry. <laughs> two swords! He's got the answerer. And so he draws it and puts it at the rabbi's throat. Point. Like that. And speaks the binding that puts him under the spell. Where he has to, he is compelled to answer and answer truthfully. And Melina thinks, okay, great. Now we can kill him. But Atticus says, nope, we got to ask him some questions. And they are upset because he just killed part of their coven, their uh, sister, friend, whatever, and they think he needs to pay with his life. So they're upset about the weight, but Atticus asks them some questions to find out, okay, what is the name of the group that you're in? And they find out it's the Hammers of God. And how many people are in your organization? And he doesn't really know. So that is truthful. He doesn't have an, but he can give them an estimate. And it's a very large estimate. And he asked him, okay, if you disappear, pretty much saying, if they kill you and you don't return, how many will come looking for you? And he says at least 20. That is a standard procedure. 
Melina thinks he's lying, but Atticus reminds her that under this spell, he cannot lie. So, they try to think of another way, um, because, you know, his magic is very powerful, and they don't want 20 more of him attacking. So, he, Atticus convinces her to take some of his hair so that he, she can have him semi under her control and maybe do some bad things to him now and then, but at the very least, have a spell to where if she dies, he dies kind of deal. Um to take away his incentive for killing her. So they rip a huge chunk of hair off his head just for the pain factor. Excuse <coughs> me. And then Atticus binds his shirt sleeves because he wears uh, a natural fiber. Usually I think they wear linen. Um, so that he's pretty much, it's like handcuffing him. And they're going to take him around and show him. I don't think it does any good. I don't think it does gets through his head. But they take him through the whole thing, showing him all the good that the witches had done, destroying these demon rams that came through, destroying all the demon spawn they were creating with the witches, destroying all the witches who had hunted Kabbalahs throughout history. But he's still fussing and carrying on about Atticus keeping uh, company with witches and vampires and werewolves and the like. So I don't think it got through his head. I don't think it's not getting through his head. But they have to turn him loose. Send him on his way. So then they turn their attention to try to find Leaf. Remember Leaf? Poofy sleeve got caught on fire and he panicked and went out the window. So they're searching and um, they finally find him a uh, ways away. He was able to put out the flames, but I guess just used up all his energy and collapsed. So they need to get him out of there before daylight comes or it'll finish him anyway. But he's pretty crispy. <laughs> They said that when they pick him up, parts of him are flaking off. And um, the witches are kind of panicking over that. But he says, no, it'll grow back. <laughs> so, but to protect him from sunlight and everything, they decide the best thing is to put him in the trunk of his sports car. And they all agree not to tell him so he doesn't get mad when he, to find out that they did that. And they take him back to, um, was it his house? Yeah, I think where they were having the fake uh, party, uh, Lord of the Rings um, marathon watch, which would be their alibi for the police. And um, Dr. Snorri Oderson was the werewolf doctor, was there. So he was able to kind of start treating Leaf. And I think they took him with them to help heal him up. So, yeah. And then during the epilogue, you see where they're starting the healing process out at Tony Cabin where they fought um, Angus Oak, where he killed the earth. And it, and it tells a little bit about how the process of, uh, I think they like dig trenches and put, put living soil in to try to... Um, bring back life into that soil. But if they're like four, did they, did they say four miles square or something like that? Um, or either they were still four miles out. I can't remember. <laughs> Old lady brain. But, yeah. This is going to be a lot of work to try to heal that land. So they end this book starting him and Granuel and everybody starting to heal the land, and Oberon is asking him questions, trying to understand what's going on, and he tells him, why don't you just get the the earth elemental to, to do this for you? Why are you having to do all this by hand? And he says, because the land here is dead, it doesn't answer to me when I call. And sweet Oberon says, well, you can call me because I'll always answer, and that just, the doggies are like that. They, they have your heart, they got your back. Love the doggies, so, yep. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's, so that ends up, finishes Hexed, book two, the Iron Druid series. Now, book three, 
Um, I got a lot of books in here. I've got a um, a Audible credit, but I haven't picked out a book. You want to suggest a good a good book for me to start? Put it in the comments. I'm I'm open to find something interesting because the the authors that I, I like to follow, I've kind of like caught up on all their series, and I'm waiting for them to put new books out. Um, I do think I'm not sure. I don't know if the new Kevin Hearn, the author of this series, also has another series, the Seven Kenning series. And he had, The Curse of the Krakens was coming out. I'm not sure if it's out yet. Uh, it will be the third book in his in that series. So, I might, um, I have to look to see if that is out yet. Okay. Oh, it looks like the book, The Seven Kennings, book three, is out. So if you haven't started that series, of course, the um, the Seven Kennings series, it's, it's interesting. It's different. It's very different from this series. But um, it's still, it's good. There's a lot in it. And now his Ink and Sigil series that he started is set in the same universe as the Iron Druid. So that, maybe I might go into that one after this one. But there's only, I think... Two, maybe three books. I'm caught up on it too. I don't know when the next one of that's coming out. Okay, book three. Found it. <laughs> Hammered. Yes. Because remember, he promised Leaf if Leaf helped him, he was going to help him try to kill Thor. So I think Hammered might be that adventure. Because Leaf did almost die trying to help him. So. So, uh, next week, I think, I guess we will start on Hammered, the next in the series. But, thank you guys for hanging out with me. And, like I said, if you've got more interesting books you want me to read, put in the comments so I can find a new series. Because I've got that Ottawa credit waiting. And, uh, well, I might go ahead and use it on the Seven Kenning Book 3. But, yeah, I'd love to find another series. So, let me know if you've got one you really love. Alright guys, I will talk to you later. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.